In this lesson, we will learn how theme customizer work. So let's just go ahead and let's get started. But before getting it started, we need to understand a few things. The theme customizer versus the full site editing. So basically in the 2022, WordPress released the full site editing inside the WordPress. And inside their 2022 theme, if we go ahead and we hit on activate, now you should see that there will be no theme customizer, yet we have got this editor. So basically they have released the full site editing uh, that is not really appreciated nowadays. And uh, so many of the theme developers are actually not incorporating that. So now if we go ahead and we install the most popular themes, we are not getting the uh, full site editing inside there. So until and unless uh, people are not actually accepting that, we're not going to be taking a look at that because uh, this full site editing is uh, not being appreciated by the developers and they are not incorporating that on the website. And it will take some time, probably like in the mid of 2024, this is going to be incorporated on the WordPress website. And once the theme developers actually accepts it, uh, then we will be updating this lecture and we will be working with the full site editing. Until that, we will be going ahead and we will be going up with any of the themes. So if you go ahead and you activate that, you can see that there is no editor inside there and we've got the default customized in here. So you go ahead, you activate the 2020 theme, you get that, you activate the 2021 theme, or you go ahead and you go into the add new and you install any of the most popular theme. All right, so we've got this Hello Elementor. This is the most popular Astra theme. This is the most popular. And even if you go ahead and you install the Ocean WP theme, that is the most popular theme, you will see that there is not going to be the editor inside there. So until and unless the most popular theme developers incorporate uh, that particular full site editing inside there, that is not going to be accepted by the developers worldwide. All right, so now let's just go ahead and let's work with the theme customizer. That is what WordPress used to come with. All right, so theme customizer is basically a layout presets that the theme developers itself provide us so that we can edit the layout. Now, if you go ahead and we go to the 2019 theme and we hit on activate, you can see that this theme is activated. And now if you go ahead and we go to the customize here itself, you can see that this is how it actually looks like. Now here, what we can do is that we can go into the site identity and we can particularly change the website title from here. Also, we can also change the WordPress tagline. So like instead of uh, this just another WordPress website, like I can say that since I am a WordPress developer, I can add that inside here and that is going to be shown over here. So I can change that. Similarly, I've got this website site icon, which is going to be appearing right over here. So you can see that we've got a WordPress logo. Now let's suppose that if I want any other custom icon, then I can upload an image uh, at least of 512 pixels, and uh, that is going to be appearing on top over here. Similarly, we have got the options to change the colors. So we can go ahead and we can change particularly some of the colors on the website. Like if I select custom colors and now I go down, now let's suppose that I want to use the red colors over here, then all the colors are actually going to be changed. You can see that I'm getting the red colors. And if I change these to uh, the yellow, then the link colors are actually going to be changed to yellow. All right, so I'll be going ahead and I'll be going up with the default one. Now we've got this menus. So we have already talked about the menu before. So like we know how we can go ahead and how we can create a menu by just going into the themes and then just adding a menu like this is the menu that we actually created. All right, so let's go back. Now we've got this widget. So widgets are something that we will be talking about in detail when we will be working with the blog website. All right, so now if you go into the project website that we will be building as our first project. Now you can see that we are actually not using the widgets, but we are actually using some of the widgets right down below in the footer. So when we'll be building the footer of this website, then we will take a look at like how the widgets work. All right, now we've got this home page settings. So we can take a look at like your home page displays, latest post or a static page. This is the setting that we already did by going into the settings of the WordPress dashboard and changing the settings from there. And that's it. These are the only theme customizing this theme provides. 
All right, so now what we can do is that we can just go ahead and we can hit on publish and we can click on cross. So this theme is a really basic theme. We just install this theme just to actually work with the WordPress basics so that we can learn how to create pages. Now, from now onwards, what we will learn is that we will be going ahead and we will be moving to a most popular theme that we are also using on this project right here. So you can see that we are actually using a theme on this project. So we will be going ahead and we will be moving to that particular theme and then we'll be moving forward. The theme that we are actually using on this project is actually the Ocean WP theme. So what you need to do is to click on add new. Now inside the most popular tab, you can go down and you can see that we've got this Ocean WP right here in the most popular tab. So if you do not see it, what you can do is that you can go ahead and you can search for Ocean WP and you will probably get this theme over here with which you can go ahead and you can hit on install. And this theme is going to be downloaded from the WordPress repository. And once this gets downloaded, I can hit on activate and this theme is going to be activated. All right, so now here you can see that it says awesome, everything. So now what we need to do is to just go ahead and visit the website and let's see how does the website look. So now you can see that this is how the website looks like and we've got the home page, about page, and the contact us page ready over here. And this is how everything is actually looking. So now if we take a look at this website, all right, this is going to be our first project. And now you can also see it yourself that this layout is actually pretty much matching with this layout. Now I'll be, I basically zoomed in my screen a bit. So I'll be resetting that so that I can actually be reverted back to the default. Since I'm actually using a 1080p LED, that is why uh, this is how uh, it will be looking. But if you are actually using a, a laptop that most of the students will be, so then on the laptop, this is going to be your screen resolution and this is how it will be. All right, so let's just go ahead and let's set this to the normal width. All right, so now you can see that this is how it is actually looking like. And let's take a look at the theme customizer of this theme. So if I just go ahead and I go into the dashboard, now I go ahead and I go into the appearance and now I click on customize. So now you can see that I've got pretty much options over here and I can style my website accordingly. So like, uh, let's suppose that if I just go ahead and I go into the site identity, you can see that this is how it's looked like. We've got the tagline, we've got the site title and I can also upload the site icon. Similarly, we've got the colors option, we've got the menus options, and we've got the widgets. Now, menus is the one that we have already worked with the default. Now, the thing that I want you to know is that let's suppose that if we actually go into the top bar, all right, so you can see that inside the top bar, uh, let's just take a look at our project over here. So you can see that we've got this top bar over here. Now what I'll be doing is that I'll be going ahead and I'll be going into the general tab and I'll be making some of the changes. Now there is one thing that I would actually recommend you to do. I would suggest you to not implement what I'm doing right now. All right, just watch this uh, just to get uh, information and how everything is working. And from the next lecture, we will be actually copying this style and then we will be moving forward. All right, so right now, I would just recommend you to go ahead and just watch this. So now what I'll be doing is that I'll be going ahead and I'll be going up with the background color and I'll be applying, let's suppose the blue color over here and you can see that the blue color is right here. Now, what I can do is that I can go into the text color and I can change this to white and you can see that now this is actually turned into white, which is kind of a bit similar to this that we have over here. Now, what I'll do is that I'll go back and now I'll be going up with the header over here, which is this over here. And now I'll be going into the general and you can see that here I can work with the styles and everything. So like, let's suppose that if I want the background color of this header to be blue as well, then you can see then how this color is actually turned into blue. And similarly, I can now go back and now in the menu, now what I can do is that I can change the link colors, all right? So I can go ahead and I can change the link colors to white and now you can see that how these link colors are actually appearing. So that's how we can go ahead and we can style these accordingly and we can build a website header. Similarly, if we go ahead and we hit on go back and we hit on go back, now we have also got this footer over here. So right here you can see that we've got this footer widgets 
that is going to be appearing over here and right down below we've got this copyright all right so inside the footer bottom we've got the copyright so you can just add in like your copyright your website address website developed by your name so you can just enter something like that and then you can change the text color to white so that this is pretty much visible now let me tell you one thing about the themes is that uh, any theme you go ahead and you install that on your website that is going to let you edit the header of your website that is going to let you edit the footer of your website whatever that is in between over here that theme uh, might let you like you can see that we've got this text over here all right so if i just go ahead and i just go into the typography all right and in the body all right let's suppose that i want to change the text all right so i change the text to anything else like this now you can see that the text of the website is fully changed all right by just a single click i can do that but i cannot design this website accordingly like let's suppose that if i want to use this styles over here like i've got a background image i've got this right here and behind that i've got some of the shadow not only that if i bring my mouse how this image is actually moving up a bit i've got hover effects and so many more things so if you want to do these types of designs that then your theme is not going to allow you to do that however there are some themes that are available that comes with a page builder inside themselves so you can use that theme and you can do that but uh, the generic themes or the general themes that we have nowadays they will only let you edit the header of your website and only let you edit the footer of your website whatever that is in between that is actually edited using a page builder and we will be talking about that deeply later on from the next lecture so now first of all i would like to congratulate you on actually learning how you can go ahead and how you can create a basic three page website all right that was the start once you're done with that you can now design your website accordingly all right and uh, from the next lecture we will be actually copying this header style we will learn how we can go ahead and how we can design this type of header then we will learn how to design this type of footer over here on this website and after that we will be moving on to the page builders and we will learn how we can go ahead and how we can design these type of page builders as they are being shown over here so from the next lecture, we'll be working up with that. Now, what I'll be doing is that I'll be clicking on cross over here so that my changes that I just did are not saved. And now if I go ahead and I click on visit website, you can see that I'm reverted back to the default. So like uh, there was no issue, like if you were not copying as it is like what I was doing. All right. So now from the next lecture, we'll be working with the theme customizer and we will be starting with the project. We will learn how to just like take a look at this how to design that, and after that, we'll be working with the page builder. Stay tuned, and bye-bye.